Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and it's a new LP. We're done with Chrono Cross, and now we're doing Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 2, War of the Abyss. Brought to you by Kazara Studios. And this is a great game, and I'm not just saying that because I helped make it. I Really, I'm not. I'm not speaking to you guys as president of Kazara Studios. I'm speaking to you as a YouTuber. Who LP'd the first game, and enjoyed it, and I played it many times, and enjoyed it. If you guys don't know the story... Uh, about four or five years back, somebody by the name of Tiny Patel, you know her now as my co-host on the List Critics, contacted me and gave me a free copy of Chronicles of a Dark Lord, well, a prototype sort of copy of Chronicles of a Dark Lord Episode 1, Worthy Abyss, and uh, I played it, I did a video, she enjoyed it, we became friends, started talking on Facebook and shit, and eventually I became involved with the company, um, I'm not president of the company, it's a couple of years later, it's like six years later, but... Um, well, that's six years. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it was it, it was like it was like four years ago, and um, here we are finally with the sequel. And this really was a very long development cycle, and maybe I'll throughout talk about that. But I really do want to approach this not as you know a developer, but as a YouTuber and an LPer, and I want to just enjoy the game. And it is a really great game. Um, if you like the first one, I, I have to tell you this one's actually better. But uh, let's let's go ahead. So one of the things, and I gotta brag about this actually. This was my idea. When you hit new game, you are immediately thrust into a battle. You get to refight the last boss of the first game, except we made it easy, so you can't really lose Zayon. So you get to fight Zayon again. Originally, the game began uh, with some cutscenes, which you'll see after this. But I said to Tanya one day, "Could we do it where you hit new game and you're thrust into the Zayon battle? Because we were gonna put this as a flashback later in the game." And I said, what if we put it right at the beginning and then recap the whole ending of the first game and then did the cutscenes and one year later and all that. So let's do it. No, Isis doesn't have much to do. If you've ever wondered about... Um, just test something here. Nine. No, I don't know if that... Hold on one second. I don't know if that's working. Okay, it is working. Okay. Um, what is, like, the a actual, like, canonical party? Because you could use, like, this, like... A lot of different characters in Chronicles of Dark Lord Part 1, Tides of Fate. Uh, there was even a secret character, you get Galena in your party. The canonical story party is Mages, Zyria, Isis, and Drea. That's why you're seeing those particular characters. Of course, you could use anybody you want. And I say if you have Galena, she's, she's better than Drea, so... But story-wise, this is the party you're supposed to use. But yeah, if you like the first game, this is a lot better. I mean, I know we had a lot of fans. There's, there's a certain group of people out there that I refer to as our super fans. And actually, a lot of you guys out there, uh, if you're Chronicles of a Dark Lord fans, and you've left me a lot of comments, and you know, certain ones of you that are like so fanatical. I mean, fan comes from the word fanatic, fanatic, and uh, um. You're actually going to be in the credits as special thanks, because you guys really kept this going. But like I said, I really don't want to talk... I don't want to make this like a dev diary. I want to... This is an LP, so... I'm not going to do character voices, because if I do too much of the mage's voice at once, it can kind of start to hurt. And uh, this is not such a goofy game, so I, I do want to just like kind of take it seriously, so... And that was a bleeder. Give them all the, all the shinies! I want the shinies! See, of course, you get the Infernity Diadem and the Key to the Abyss. Which is what the first game is all about. Now we get to rewatch the ending. Of course, done in the new graphical style with the new engine. So, there you go. This is impossible! I, I was so close to achieving perfection for this world! Before he revives again, we must use the Corinthi as the Fae instructed us. I kept it safe and covered, just as you asked, Magus. Added the Corinthi to Mages. Well, hurry it up, Lee. Read the damn inscription on the altar and let the Corinthi do its thing. I consecrate this seal with the entrusted wisdom of the unified light and darkness. I call upon the power of the Corinthi to seal the body and soul of the atrocity of all that lives. The Corinthi just shattered. We have no time to waste. We must depart immediately. I agree with the Emperor. Let's get our asses out of here while we can. 
I can do it. I can get us out of here, but I need everyone to be close. You heard the lady. Move. And there you have it, Majara. The Corinth I shattered, and we are unsure if Xeon was sealed or not. The only problem, though, is how to find out for sure. Right now, we're just speculating. There must be a way to find out. A thousand pardons, your majesties, but I have news. We just received word that the abyss ruptured and looked like it was going to close, but it did not. It was some great pulse, and it started expanding once again. There are thousands of abyssals now pouring out from it. No, this cannot be. How? How is this happening? I bet you a thousand starin it is not Zeon. Who else could be behind it? The only one that could have inherited Zeon's essence as his vessel, Anto Calius. So by killing Anto, we only did him a damned favor. He wanted us to kill him so that he could get Zeon's essence to fuse with his own. Uh, basically, like, Zeon's essence is so nihilistic that a living host would not really be able to handle it. Only a dead host would. That's why Anto pretty much let us kill him so that he could become the undead Lord of the Abyss. He played us all like fools. He knew what we were going to do. Once Anto is ready, we can expect him to send the full might of his armies against everyone in this world. There will be nowhere safe to go. Cytheria? So it has finally come to pass, then. The War of the Abyss is now upon us. Let's just sit back. I'm not going to talk much here, because, well, that's my voice, so... At this turn, will become a great dark lord of us. The only guy I have voice acting in the game is me. Yeah, no figure. This very same child will be the one to save us all in a war so terrible, so fierce, that it will blot out any other war known to us. It has to be the war of the abyss. It had begun the day when I was imbued with the powers of the great dark god Jesus. And that's my mage's voice. Or perhaps it began the day I was born. It does not matter, I suppose. For I was set to achieve my destiny. I thought that perhaps the wars I led against the Rin Kingdoms would be the fulfillment of that destiny. Though they were far from me. I became embroiled in a conflict against an adversary that none of us could have prepared for. The enemy I speak of is the antithesis of everything that has ever lived or existed. The abyss. Our war took us to those depths where our enemy was waiting for us. We soon encountered the one that had summoned the abyss to the mortal plane. The traitorous Anto Kings. After defeating him, we took on the atrocity of the gods himself and tried to seal him from the abyss once again. The sealing was a failure, and the abyss began to expand again. It was then that we knew the atrocity of the gods had planned for this and chosen the vessel before his defeat. As we prepared for all our war against the abyss, we knew at that moment whom the atrocity of the gods had chosen for a vessel. All of us, the world over, knew it the moment we heard that singing him from the abyss. One, two, and those coming for me, guys. I don't know why I always do the Carmen voice when I do that. One year later. <sighs> you ready for this, Galena? Yes. I've been ready for this for a long time now, Zeria. Thank you for agreeing to stand with me. How could I not? Now it's time for the bride to make her entrance. Zeria, are you sure you're okay with all this? I know that you and Magus had a pretty bitter divorce after you confessed to him about sleeping with Majara. Don't worry about it, Galena. My new relationship with Magus is working out fine. I would even go so far as to say that he's pleased that Majar has found happiness. And I'm glad to hear it. All right, time for me to get married. I really am happy for you, Galena. Let's do this.
by the love of the fallen goddess Shaddai, and the strength of the dark god Hazesus, do I now begin this most cherished of ceremonies. Do you, Galena Dyrene Grey, take Magus Draken Lee to be your husband? Through war and strife, in peace and tranquility, for as long as you both shall live. Yes, I do. Now do you, Magus Draken Lee, take Galena Dyrene Grey to be your wife? Through war and strife, in peace and tranquility, for as long as you both shall live. Indeed, I do. Then as High Empress of the Khazareth Empire, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, Magus. No, not now. Cytheria, what's wrong? Guards, what was that? The Abyss has launched a strike against Tezeroth, Emperor. Our forces are assembling for a counterattack. Magus, you must go and thwart this strike. I will lead our forces here to defend the Citadel. You heard Majara. Go to Tezeroth and do what you do best. You don't need to worry about us here, okay? Very well. I will see you soon, my beloved. My wife. Commander Krista, Commander Dasan, you're with me. I'm ready when you are, Emperor. You can always count on me, Emperor. Damn, they must have broken off from the main contingent to keep us busy here as a diversion. Let us make quick work of these fools. Death to the enemies of the Abyss. Maybe we'll do a few voices, I don't know. Alright! First battle of the game, we got some Abyssal Grunts. Let's hit him with death. No, no, no. Boom! Oh, don't you be dodging. You motherfucker. Leave Crystal alone! I'm serious! Put her on. Get out! Damn it! I have blood all over my boots. Just once, I'd like to find a nice steak. We have to get to the city. We must drive their filth out of the city. We will have to search the city to make sure we root them all. Then we will hunt them all down and destroy them. That is our mission. What about the High Empress and the others? Majar and the others are likely fighting the enemy already. They will be fine. We have our own task to deal with. Engage the enemy! Emperor! The enemy has advanced on the city and is laying siege. We are here to assist you. Stand ready. Here they come. The city will soon belong to the Abyss. So the cool little feature, the soldier joins you for this battle, so that's cool. Do it, Dasan. Meow. Yeah, fuck you. Do your thing, nameless soldier. Yeah. I have a name, you know, it's Joe. Okay, Joe, you didn't tell us your name. You told us now. I don't need to do that. And Krista kills the bitch. What a pathetic display of strength. Ah, uh, this shall assist our cause. Remain here and stay on your guard. More may come this way. Yes, my lord. I need some damage for us, but it's like really not that much of a concern. Ether. It's impossible to go through this without stepping on the damage floor, so, you know. My lord, this way appears to be clear. What the? No! Emperor! Kill them all. So obviously you don't get a soldier for this battle. Fuck you! Oh, critical! I'm gonna have to heal after this. Oh, Kristen Dasan, at least. Ow, Krista, what the fudge? Oh, that was Dasan, never mind. Alright. Soldier is dead. But I got a potion! Alright, let me, uh. 
Heal, heal. Okay, we're good. Emperor, the enemy is using their damned invisibility to get the jump on us. Come on, you sons of bitches! Alright, and this is another nameless soldier. Not Joe! Different guy. We'll call him Dave. Why not? He's Dave. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Dave! Go. And you're dead. That oh, wasn't so hard. This will help. Stay here. We will drive the rest of them from the city. Yes, Emperor. So you notice there are absolutely no random battles in the whole game. All enemies you'll be able to actually see. Oh, uh, wait, no, there's no reason to go down there. There's only one more battle we gotta fight. Dark gods above, where are they all coming from? Pull it together, soldier. This pathetic display of weakness will not be tolerated. Emperor, we cannot hold them back. They're going to slaughter us. Or worse, they will make us into one of them. Emperor, please, we have to retreat while we still can- No! Oh! Your spinelessness has earned you your just reward. I'm glad I'm on his good side. That man should have known better. Dasan, Krista, prepare yourselves. I sense them near. Yep, yeah, Here we go. And you're dead. Yeah. That should be the last of them. For now. Emperor, we should head back to the Citadel and check on the others. I agree, though I'm sure they did fine. The High Empress is not exactly a pushover, nor Ziri and Galena for that matter. Emperor? Nothing. It is nothing. Come. Let us head back to the Citadel. Chapter 1. The War of the Abyss. That's right, we do chapters now. That was something that Tanya, like, started doing in the, in the, um, project file. One month later, yeah. Uh, she started putting, like, chapter names, and I was like, wouldn't it be cool if we had title cards to go with it? And it's funny, because she had chapter names for, like, all the chapters except for the first one, and she couldn't come up with anything. And I said, why don't we just call it the War of the Abyss? Why not? Commanders, report. Emperor, High Empress, we have confirmed reports that a Ativian has been overrun by the enemy. The land where a Ativian once stood is now part of the Abyss. No. Eleanor. What, what about Eleanor? Did she make it out? We have no word on whether Empress Eleanor survived or not. I'm sorry, Viceroy. I see. What is the latest regarding the Rim Kingdoms and Cenefaria? I'll take this one, Krista. Emperor, it appears so far Goldenhorn and Ivory Mist have been able to push back the enemy from their borders. However, during Ivory Mist's last encounter with the enemy, they suffered heavy losses. Queen Reyna of Goldenhorn sent us a message stating that should the Abyss strike over Ivory Mist again, that it is nearly certain the kingdom will fall. I do not suppose that you have any good news to report, Commander. Thankfully, I do, High Empress. Imperatrix Sapphire of Sanifaria has sent a message confirming that the construction of the new fortress is complete. Due to this, Sanifaria has become a launching point for coordinated strikes against the Abyss. We should take advantage of this, High Empress. I agree. Their new forces represent an opportunity for us to take the fight to the enemy for a change. Yes, I quite agree as well. I believe I've come up with a plan of attack that may shift the war back in our favor. You're going to propose that we strike at the very heart of the Abyss, are you not? That is exactly what I am proposing, Cytheria. Magus, that's suicide. For one thing, even if you actually survive long enough to get close, you wouldn't be able to get past the barrier. We also have to keep in mind that our trade routes with Obsidian Rose have been compromised due to the enemy. If we're going to launch any kind of massive strike, we're going to need supplies from Obsidian Rose first. 
Tierna Desiree is going to need our help. Uh, is going to need our help, though, to do it. There is also the matter of the circulating rumors of a major offensive against the Miri territories in the coming days. We will need to bolster our defenses across the span of, the con of this continent. Ilian and Zelonia need to be ready if the rumors prove true. Very well. Our plan shall be threefold, then. I will take Commanders Dasan and Krista with me to Ilian. After we inform Isis and Inari of our plans, we will then head for Senefaria to prepare a coordinated offensive in taking down the barrier. Galena and Zyria will go to Obsidian Rose and speak with Tiarna Desiree about cleaning those tra clearing those trade routes. Travel under cover of night and use our unmarked transport ship, but be prepared should the enemy find you. If they find us, we'll make them wish they hadn't, right, Galena? That's right. We'll get those trade routes cleared, Magus. You can count on us. Majara, you ought to head for Zelonia with a contingent of soldiers. Make sure that King Kadar and Queen Trinity are ready for a possible invasion. I have no worry, Magus. I will see it done. Cytheria? Yes, High Empress? I leave Kazarth in your hands. Also consult your mirrors. Any information that you can give us might prove useful. And by the way, so, like... Magus is the Emperor, but he's really more of, like... Oh, it's hard to explain. He's sort of like the people's leader, but, you know, he's, like, sort of... He's almost like a figurehead. He's the leader in battle, and he can pretty much, like, anything he says goes. But Majara, uh, who's his twin sister, is actually, like, the political leader of Kazarath. And since Magus and Majara are both leaving, they're going to leave. Um, Sithereally, who's... Um, Magus' sort of unofficial niece. I'm going to get into that in a little bit, actually in the next video, um, in charge of everything, so that's a pretty cool thing. But um, the different chapters are going to deal with different characters. Everybody sort of splits up. Some of the chapters take place at the same time. It's really interesting. I would consult them immediately, High Empress. Please be careful. All right, we got ourselves a plan. Let's just hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. May the honorable darkness guide us all to good fortune on our endeavors. My beloved one. Magus, why did you send me to Obsidian Rose with Zyria? Why is it I cannot go with you? Galena, this is hard for me to say. However, it must be said. I could not focus completely on the battles yet to be fought if you would join me. That and... And what, Magus? <sighs> I do not want to impose the cruelty of one of us bearing witness to the other's death. You and I know we are both embarking on missions that we may not return from. This is war. We must put aside what we feel for one another and focus on our missions. I have been in my fair share of wars. I know it has to be done. Just one last thing, Magus. What? The answer is yes, Magus. Yes? Yes to what? Yes, I want to have children with you. That is what you have wanted, is it not? Yes, yes it is. May just loves having kids. Then when this war is over, we'll start trying to have a baby. If that doesn't motivate you to come back to me alive, then I don't know what will. I will come back to you, Galena. I vow this. I'm holding you to that, Magus. I should go. Siri is doubtless waiting for me. May the path of the Honorable Darkness guide you both to good fortune. I love you, Magus. I always have, and I always will. I love you, too. It's too much of a dude to say it in front of her. We're ready, Emperor. We should head to Tezeroth first, and gather enough supplies for our journey north to Ilion. Agree, let us head to Tezeroth. Okay, well, now that I finally like, gained control, I'm going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon for the next part.